What's up guys, Sanch here and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, we do bodybuilding, military fitness and supplements. So if you guys enjoy that kind of thing, consider subscribing. In today's episode, we're gonna be talking about November's progression and what I've been able to do in a month in terms of reps, weights, and overall progression when it comes to bodybuilding and putting some size on in preparation to my next show in April. So if you guys are interested, make sure you guys stay tuned. All right, so we're gonna start off with chest. Chest, so we got flat dumbbells, right? Flat dumbbells, we've been able to get up to 95 pounds. Uh, I did not write the rep ranges on these uh, for a couple of them, but then on some of them I did, so my bad, next month will be better. So for the flat dumbbells, we were able to do 95s, right? Uh, I'm pretty happy with that. We're trying to catch up to our next one, incline dumbbell. We actually did 100 for, let me check, eight reps yes so we were able to do 100 for eight reps um, and the video will be on the screen for you guys those those felt really good uh, i was actually able to do 90s 100s and then go back to 90s in the same set they're the same workout uh, and that felt really good so we're making progress we are reducing pain and inflammation in the shoulder with my torn labrum so i'm really enjoying pressing nowadays and we're moving forward uh, in lieu of that injury. Uh, so getting into barbell, the incline barbell, uh, it's it's okay. I'm noticing that now that we're actually starting to train it more these last, say, month, uh, it does feel a lot better. I'm able to activate a lot of the upper chest and uh, getting a lot of squeeze, a lot of fullness. Uh, <laughs> one of my cats is just talking to me from the other room, so it's uh, pretty adorable. Uh, Getting into the flat bench. Now this one is gonna be something I'm very happy about. Uh, last chest session, we got into 225 for 10, and that was after three warm-up sets. So we're making a lot of progress here. Uh, I'll make sure I include a video uh, next time talking about chest and uh, really giving you guys an in-depth look at uh, my physique right now coming into show and uh, the strength and the weights and the reps and what I've been able to do and uh, what I'm currently doing. Uh, so barbell press, I know in the past I've been able to get up over 135 with a belt for a strict overhead barbell presses. Uh, recently, that's not what I'm at right now. It's not something uh, I'm working towards. Uh, I am trying to get up in weight, but right now we're kind of stuck at about 115 for 12 reps. Uh, it's not bad, it's not great. Uh, of course, in the in the game of bodybuilding, it's more about getting good squeezes, good contractions, uh, getting the muscle full of blood, and really trying to optimize um, the space you got there, uh, you know, shoulder width and genetics. Standing dumbbell overhead press. Now, this one is something we're really trying to work on. Um, I prefer the seated. I feel like I get a much better squeeze, a much better contraction. But, you know, if the program has, you know, standing overhead press, we're going to do standing overhead press. So with that one, we're getting around uh, 40 pounds for 12 reps. That's something we're going to keep working up. We're going to keep building. So December, even though we're starting to slowly lose weight with all this cardio sessions, and uh, actually we just got into supersetting sessions. So every exercise I'm doing, like, for example, today was legs, the leg press, we go right immediately into... What was it? Leg curls? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So leg press, and then we run over there and do leg curls, and we take a minute break and then do it again. So uh, the superset season is uh, is is upon us. I was not expecting it. My, me and my coach, Connor, we did not talk about it, but we are um, we are full-blown into superset season. So that's going to be four to eight weeks, and it's going to be brutal, but we're going to keep on going. Um, sorry for the tangent. Let's get back into training. So like I said, a seated dumbbell overhead press is actually my preferred movement, and for that one, we're actually being able to get around 50-pound dumbbells for 12, uh, belted and strapped, uh, something about the uh, the weakness in my core, how I've been skipping it in the off-season and not really doing ab training. Uh, that has correlated directly into a lack of strength and ab uh, ability to keep my, my body and my CNS stabilized when I'm pressing. So I've noticed that carrying over uh, in a negative way to my seated dumbbell overhead press. Deadlifts. Deadlifts are, are good. I actually have to make a correction because I just did 270 the other day for 10 reps 
And that was supersetted with 160 pound wide lat pull downs. So I'm really feeling happy about the deadlifts right now, barbell deadlifts. Uh, I know I can do more, I know I can do heavier, uh, keeping in mind that I'm not using a belt right now. So kind of the December goal is gonna hit 305 for the deadlift, the standard double overhand deadlift. Uh, I was able to hit, I'm gonna jump right into the hex bar deadlift. I was able to do 305 on the hex bar deadlift and that one is feeling good. That is uh, a direct correlation and a, a direct focus on my training for my ACFT, the Army Combat Fitness Test. So dumbbell deadlifts, uh, I'm kind of I'm kind of torn between this one. I can't figure out if I need to be doing it in the front, uh, like you'll see here, or if I want to do it on the side in uh, imitating a hex bar deadlift. So let me know what you guys are thinking on on how you guys do your guys' dumbbell deadlifts. I definitely would like to hear your opinions on how you guys do it in your training. Uh, Barbell Rose, I do appreciate you guys reaching out and commenting on the post on Facebook. I'll put my Facebook on the screen for you guys if you guys don't have me added. I post plenty on there. Uh, but people are telling me to try to remove the hip drive in the, the bent over barbell row. As you'll see on the screen, you can kind of tell how I'm using my hips to get the, to get the weight moving. Uh, especially when I get some exhaustion towards the end of the set, getting into rep 10 through 12. So I'm really happy with the bent over barbell row. Uh, I know Dorian Yates, don't know him, Google it. <laughs> um, that was one of his big mass building movements was, a, was the row. He called it the, the Yates row, but for the most part, it's the same way. It's the same way how I do it. So cable rows, I'm noticing lately it hasn't really been in the program, but uh, cable rows is probably one of my, my favorites, especially if you're focusing on, on squeezing it lower, really getting that lower lat activation. Um, I've been able to get around 140 to 160 on those for 12 reps. Um, strapped, of course. Belted, not so much. I don't think you really need it, but uh, I know I have used it in the past. So lat pull downs, lat pull downs when I'm going wide, I was able to actually get a 180 pound lat pull down for 12 reps, straps and belt. We're gonna wait for this alarm to go off. All right, the car's done beeping, so let's get right back into it. Reverse lat grip pull downs. Now this one's actually pretty fantastic if you guys haven't tried it. Uh, you're actually grabbing it, reverse grip, pulling it down and really allowing your lats to stretch. Uh, you're gonna feel it a little bit in your bicep, but it's a, it's a huge movement for me when it comes to uh, building my lats, stretching the lats, allowing the lats to grow. I, I would definitely recommend uh, adding the reverse grip lat pull downs into your training. And getting into legs, uh, I'm not really happy with how leg training's going. Uh, I need to spend more time stretching, warming up the hips, uh, getting the ankles nice and loose. Maybe buying some squatting shoes, you know, something like that. Barbell press is 135. We're not, we haven't gone any heavier than that. Uh, leg press is 540 for 12. Sumo deadlifts, that one was kind of fun, uh, allowing the dumbbell to go between the legs. Uh, that one was 100 pound dumbbells with straps uh, for 12. And then uh, dumbbell curls, 35 pounds for 12. So that's going to do it for the training for training progression for November. I do hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys uh, got something something from the video. Uh, this is just me letting you guys know exactly how my training is going. Um, I'll put a little physique video at the end for you guys if you wanna see uh, how I'm looking 20 to 19 weeks out from my second show ever. Uh, we're 223.5 today, but the video will not reflect that. Um, but that's that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.